Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Most incredible monuments featured on the Ancient Architects channel are usually made of stone, but this incredible looking structure in Timbuktu, Mali is made entirely of earth, fibre, straw and wood. What we are looking at is the Jingareba Mosque, a famous learning centre of Mali that was built in 1327 and was made entirely of organic material. It was apparently the brainchild of Emperor Musa I after returning from Mecca, and after surviving nearly 700 years, it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. The emperor was known for his generosity, so much so that it was noted by scribes in Cairo, Egypt, who also noted his wealth, saying it was unlike anything they'd seen before. Apparently, during his life he gave away so much West African gold on his travels that the value of the metal collapsed. In 2012, the website CelebrityNetWorth.com proclaimed that Emperor Musa I was the richest man who ever lived. His trading centre, Timbuktu, and the Jingareba Mosque in particular were his pride and joy. At the site he established administrative buildings as well as centres for scholarship and universities. He even brought in an Andalusian architect from Cairo to build Jingareba. Apparently the protruding beams were inspired by European buttresses and the conical minaret are inspired by Egyptian pyramids. The structure is made with mud brick, also known as earthen architecture, with wet soil or banco or adobe rendering the brickwork. Straw is sometimes added as a binder. It is a durable material, but does require a lot of maintenance. It is worth noting that in the 1960s, certain parts were reinforced with limestone. After his visit to Mecca, and the building of his new mosque, Emperor Musa banned the trade of gold, slaves and salt in Timbuktu, and established it as a centre of learning and religion. Jingareba became the iconic centre of the city. So, in the history of Mali, the structure was like a beacon of hope for a new way of living, and although the earthen structure has survived a long time, in 1990 the site was officially in danger because of desertification, with the sands of the Sahara Desert encroaching. An organically built structure, however important and well maintained, will never be able to withstand nature's wrath for long. Since the beginning of the 20th century, temperatures have risen in Mali, and as the desert encroaches, more frequent sandblasting is damaging monuments, including Jingareba Mosque, which is actually one metre smaller today compared to 1952. An ever-changing and unpredictable climate is bad news for this earthen structure. Whilst drought and desertification is one problem, another is too much rain and flash floods. There were heavy rains in 1999, 2001 and 2003, which caused many earthen buildings to collapse in Timbuktu. Of course, Jingareba Mosque survived, but it has suffered the consequences. Apparently, every year there is a week of restoration by a team of masons and carpenters, who repair damaged woodwork, cracks in the walls and so on. Apparently this team of volunteers are the actual descendants of the tradesmen from Yemen and Egypt who built the mosque in 1327, which is really quite incredible. In June 2006, a major four-year project to restore and preserve the monument began, conducted and financed by the Aga Khan Trust for Culture, and whilst drainage, paving, re-rendering the walls and replacing the wood has taken place, for environmental reasons, this incredible and unusual site will forever be in danger. Because of this danger, the site has been laser scanned as part of something known as the Zamani Project, with a full 3D documentation of the structure carried out in 2005. You can view the 3D models and animations on the Zamani Project website, which I've linked below in the description. But nature is not the only recent threat to Jingareba Mosque. Islamic extremists began destroying many of Timbuktu's cultural treasures in 2012, not long after UNESCO placed them on a list of endangered World Heritage Sites. 
the extremists called the ancient Muslim shrines Haram, or forbidden in Islam. Seven of Timbuktu's 16 mausolea, which housed the remains of 333 legendary Muslim saints were destroyed, including two tombs at the Jingareba Mosque. Thousands of ancient manuscripts were also burned. This is because, to the extremists, Timbuktu's ancient form of Islam, in which superstition and magic cohabit with the teachings of the Quran, is heresy. Thankfully, damage to the mosque itself was minimal. Personally, I don't follow an organised religion, but I can't deny the beauty of many of the world's religious buildings. Whether it's the ancient Borobudur Buddhist Temple, Notre Dame Cathedral or Jingareba Mosque, each structure is unique and beautiful in its own way. Each tells a story, and is part of the cultural heritage of the region it's built in. This structure may well just be an earthen structure, but the final form, with the wooden beams poking through the walls, the amazing way it still looks after 700 years, the love and care that went into it, well, I think it looks as wonderful as it does bizarre, and I just hope that humanity and nature can leave it alone for a little longer. Timbuktu was once an oasis, with canals and mango trees aplenty, but today it looks more like a desert outpost with the Niger River located several kilometres south of the city. Some of the residents' own homes are older than the mosque and also need constant upkeep and restoration. In truth, the entire city is under threat, and, although we'd like to, humanity has never had the power to stop nature in its tracks. I'm really happy to have discovered this site, to raise awareness of it, because we really don't know what the future holds for Timbuktu. If you know of any particular site that you feel should be more widely discussed or known about, please do comment below, and I'll add it to my list of subjects for future videos. This channel would be nothing without you, the viewers. So thank you for watching and for supporting this channel, and together with your help, I can put together some really fascinating new content for everyone. Every single country in the world has a heritage and a history, and there are incredible hidden gems like Jingareba Mosque everywhere. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, Please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.